So what's new in Procreate 5.4? In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the full update, showing you all the new features, pointing out the ones I found most exciting, and sharing my honest thoughts. I'll also talk about what I would love to see in the next update. So grab your iPad and let's dive into Procreate 5.4 together. So this update is mostly about brushes in Procreate. Before, we only had the classic brush library, but now Procreate has introduced a brand new set of brushes. There are multiple libraries, and those libraries are accessible with just a cheeky little finish. So you don't have to be worried about your old brushes and custom important ones, they are all still there in the classic library. Now let's dive into the brand new brushes Procreate has launched. There are 18 amazing brush sets between pencils, inks, markers, oils, watercolors, and more, each packed with around 10 brushes to explore. Some of my favorite new brushes are the ink, charcoal, design, and pencil sets. I especially love the design set, uh, it's got such nice brushes that make adding little details feel so easy and fun, while giving your art a really polished touch. You definitely need to try these new brushes, I'm sure you will find your own favorite among them, they are so fun to use and honestly really inspiring. You can create new brush library with the plus button and uh, give it a name. Then you can easily drag and drop your brush set to organize them however you want, perfect for different projects or workflows. Plus, there is iCloud backup for your brushes and libraries, which is such a lifesaver for keeping everything safe and easy to access. But make sure that iCloud storage is on from inside Actions Preferences. Procreate also adds a super handy search feature. Just swipe down in the Brushes panel and you can quickly find any brush, brush set, or even an entire library. You can now add custom icons to your brush sets and even rename your libraries or individual brushes using emojis. This makes it super easy to organize your brushes visually and find what you need at a quick look. For example, here I'm using the emojis to rename my brush and I will add another one this hard to rename this brush and I will easily find it by just tabbing on search and put this emojis and the brush will appear. In this update, Procreate gives you more control over brush shapes and strokes, like spacing and drawness jitter, speed-based dynamic, alpha threshold, and a pressure graph for your Apple Pencil. There is also a new preview tab so you can see how brushes will look in the picker. Personally, I don't use these settings on my usual brushes uh, very much, so I'll go through them quickly, but it's nice to have the option if you want to experiment. The colors panel in Procreate has been updated for better stability and a smoother visual experience. A new palette has been added, so you have a beautiful selection of colors to choose from. Plus, the color history is now available on all iPads and on smaller screens. In Procreate 5.4, you can now record time-lapse videos on even a very small canvas. It's perfect for capturing your sketches or small artworks. For example, here I created a canvas size 100 pixel by 100 pixel and I'm drawing anything just like this. And by exporting the time lapse, I will get a video that shows my uh, work from start to finish. It's super easy and really useful. Procreate also brings some nice improvements behind the scenes. Dynamic brush scaling now works even better with dual brushes. 
color picking from the reference companion is more accurate with certain color profiles and there are various performance improvements and bug fixes to make everything run more smoothly. For me, the best part of this update is the new versions added to the classic library. They are so fun to use. For the next update, I'd like to see improved exporting options, especially for the printing or sharing high quality images. What do you think of this update and what would you like to see in the next one? Share your thoughts in the comments below. See you on the next video. Bye bye.